What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be talking about my Sephora purchase. I got it in over the weekend. There are a few new products I wanted to try, including a new foundation, primer, highlighter, and lip gloss. Ooh, and setting powder. Oh, and setting spray. I kind of wanted new everything. I didn't have a setting spray, and if you watch any of my other videos, you know I don't have a primer that I like. Today, I am going to be showing you how I did this makeup look using all new products. I did purchase the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation, the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder, the Marc Jacobs Glow Stick, Marc Jacobs Fantastic Omega Bronzer, and the Tatcha Denona Lipstick, and the Cover FX Setting Spray. And if you want to see how I get this look and my final thoughts on the products, then just keep watching. For starters, I'm going to prime my lids with the MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low just to kind of even things out and get a nice base. Next, I'm going to take the RMS Beauty Eye Polish in the shade Imagine. It's a nice pretty purple color. Very simple, easy to do, especially if you're in a hurry and don't have time to blend shadows. I love just putting a solid color on the lid. It's really nice not having to use any brushes too. To clean things up, I just take a makeup wipe and kind of get rid of any excess shadow that may have gone a little too far. I'm going to curl my lashes using the Tarte Lash Curler. And for mascara, I'm taking the Kush Mascara from Mo Cosmetics. It's one of my favorites at the moment. I'm a big fan of the brush. Next, I'm going to prime my face using the Smashbox Primer Water along with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I really love how soft and silky it makes your skin feel. It's the perfect base. Moving on to foundation, I am taking the Dior Backstage Face and Body in the shade 1.5N. Be careful if you shake it because when you open it, some does shoot out. I'm applying it all over randomly as you see. And blending it out with a flat top brush from Tarte. For concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and blending it out with the Morphe brush. Hey. To set everything, I'm taking the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder and just using a light dusting. I'm not gonna bake or anything. And because it takes me forever, I am actually gonna do my brows off camera. Oh my God, brows make everything so much better. I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer and bronze the crap out of my face to bring it back to life. For blush, I'm taking the Milani Blush in Coral Cove. I really like that this one has no shimmer. It's a nice, pretty matte pink. For highlighter, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Highlighting Stick and placing it around my temples, down the bridge of my nose, and above my lip. I'm placing the Maybelline Eyeliner in the shade Striking Copper on the lower lash and waterline. adding a second coat of mascara to the top lashes and a first coat on the bottom. Popping a little of the Marc Jacobs highlighter on my inner corner. For lips, I'm using the Natasha Denona lip gloss in the shade 18 Flesh. It is such a perfect name for such a perfect nude. Finally, to lock everything in and set, I'm using the Cover FX Setting Spray. Hey. Okay, so I finished my makeup, I curled my hair, and now I'm just gonna quickly mention final thought. I did wear this makeup to work yesterday, which was Friday. I had it on for like 12 hours. It's I don't know, I kind of like not messed up, but since I used everything all new at once, I'm not sure like what works, if it's all together, if it will work that great separately. But the Dior foundation is 
beautiful. I have combination skin, so I get oily like in my T-zone. I put my makeup on about 6.45, and at around like 10, 30, 11 at work, I could blot. Like, it is oil coming through. I definitely could use a blotting sheet to make it look better. I did not have that problem. I was amazed. And I also work out in the middle of the day. I'd say usually between 12 and two is when I work out. And then I go back to work obviously until five. I work out like in natural air temperatures. So kind of whatever the temperature is, if it's humid or anything, that's the environment I'm in. It's not like an air conditioned room. So I sweat, especially around my hairline and my foundation and bronzer will kind of fade if I'm like wiping and I can get a little patchy in my bronzer area. I have a clip of my makeup finished right before work on Friday and a check-in at around six something, I think yesterday. So I'm going to insert that now. So this is the finished makeup look. So yeah, I'm gonna go head to work and I'll see you guys in about 10 hours. Hey guys, welcome back. It has officially been 12 hours that I've been wearing my makeup. I am so impressed. Like, I did not blot my face one time today. When I was at work, I like sat and I was like this. And then when I pulled away, um, it did start to break up there. But, I mean, I worked out. I did... <laughs> I did um, 20 minutes of cardio and 25 minutes of weights. I did sweat. I would blot my forehead with like a towel. But I mean, the bronzer is in place for the most part. I'm like, ow. I'm super, super freaking impressed. Okay, so it's safe to say that I love the combination of all the products that I use. I really am a fan of the Dior foundation. I'm really looking forward to um, seeing how this foundation holds up just on normal days. I mean, if it can withstand a long ass work day, it should be fine going out. I have the shade 1.5N. I did order 2N and 2W because I feel like this is a little light. I find myself trying to bronze more to make it not so harsh. It's a little light. I mean, I'm pale as crap, but for some reason, I like my face to be a little tan. And I'm going to see. This might be the best shade for me. I'm not sure, but I have those coming on the way to kind of do a sample and see if maybe one of them works better. I am going to be using it. The only thing I don't like is when you open it, it kind of like shoots out but if that's my only gripe I'll take it the silk canvas primer it really smooths out your skin and kind of has this cast over it right it's a great base to apply foundation I want to know how anybody else gets this like how do you close it when it's on your fingers you definitely have to wipe your hands because it's so slippery the Natasha Denona actually has like a lot of pigment or such a sheer lip gloss doesn't feel heavy at all but it gives such like the color I'm amazed at how well it shows up for how thin the formula is I really love it and I usually have to put like a nude base on and then a gloss because that's just the color that I like this color number 18 flesh I only have to use this I am in love Marc Jacobs highlighter is beautiful I got it because I heard Sam mention that it kind of dries down into like a matte which I need because if I start to get oily, I don't need anything sliding over the place, which this stays put. Big fan. The hourglass, I don't notice I get like crepey or my fine lines accentuated. I think it looks really nice. I stay very matte throughout the day. A plus for me, I am impressed with everything. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products or your current favorites and you think I should maybe try. If you guys want to see how I did my hair, I can definitely do a tutorial on this. I did this with a straightener. Humid temperatures make sense everything fall flat makes your skin dewy so you gotta like make sure you're using the right stuff and i find straightener curls last a little bit longer for me they don't drop with temperature fluctuations at all if you are interested in that please leave it in the comments down below that is it for me thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful please give it a thumbs up and to see more from me subscribe to my channel bye